everybody, it's Hexa, and today's video is going to be finally a Halloween makeup tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to achieve this look, which is inspired by Jared Leto's The Joker from The Suicide Squad, which is a super cool movie. I, I don't know, a lot of people didn't like it. I personally really did like it, uh, especially The Joker's character is just super, super cool. Uh, and I had to do this look while my hair is still at least a little bit green. It was a lot more green in the summer. Uh, I will link down below and on the screen my video from when I dyed my hair Joker green, especially for the premiere of The Suicide Squad. Other than that, I'm a little bit sick today, so I might be a little more quiet or low energy than usual, just letting you guys know. I kind of have like a sore throat. It doesn't really hurt as much as it just feels swollen. I don't know what's going on, but I need to do something about it. Also, not all of the products that I use in this video are cruelty-free. Um, as you guys know from a while ago, I have decided to convert to cruelty-free, and I haven't been buying a lot of products that are animal-tested anymore, but I, I'm like not able to replace my entire makeup collection right now. It's just not financially possible for me. And so, in order to actually be able to bring this look and this tutorial to you guys, I had to use whatever I needed and whatever I had, which was not necessarily cruelty-free. But please do know that for any product that I use in this video, there is always a cruelty-free replacement. So yeah, you don't have to use the exact products that I used, just something in a similar shade and similar function. I think that's everything I had to say for this. Uh, the only products that I will list down below are the cruelty-free ones. So I'm mentioning throughout the video all of the products that I've used, but the only ones I'm actually going to list down below as products I used are the cruelty-free ones because I just want to make it clear that those are the only ones that I actually want to bring more buyers and attention to. Anyways, yeah, if you want to find out how to look like the Joker from the Suicide Squad, please keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Alrighty, so first off we're going to start with some primer. I'm using the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Resist 24 Balancing Softener Enriched. This, this name is just ridiculous. Um, keep in mind this is not cruelty free. And by the way, please just disregard the fact that I have these demons on my face. I'm aware. <laughs> The next step right after primer is to block out our eyebrows uh, because Jared Leto's version of the Joker has no eyebrows. So we're going to be using just some standard glue. Go for something that is non-toxic because you're putting this right on your skin. So just, yeah, and you're just going to glue down your eyebrows. This is pretty annoying for me because I have quite strong, like, thick and bold eyebrows. Um, the thinner your eyebrows are, the easier this is, but for people with strong brows like me, you might need several layers of glue. After putting down the glue, we just gotta wait for it to dry. So I'm gonna go and wait for it to dry. If you wanna use a blow dryer to dry this off more quickly, you can. Just use the cold setting, not the hot one. Just. Just listen. <laughs> Anyways, I will be back when this has dried off, uh, and I will probably do two layers of glue on my face because, as I said, I have pretty strong eyebrows, so at least two or three layers are required. Okay, so I've put two layers of glue on my eyebrows, and it has mostly dried down, so after this step, we're going to be going in with my Boing Concealer by Benefit Cosmetics, which again is not a cruelty-free brand, even though they really, really try very hard to pass as one. They are not. Um, I'm just going to be using my Beauty Blender to kind of like pick up some product and then um, dot that over my eyebrows. For this step, you want to make sure that you're using a really, really full coverage concealer. Uh, it doesn't have to be a cream necessarily, you can use any kind of concealer that you want, but just be aware that you should go for one that is pretty full coverage. I'm also going to try a little bit of Benefit's Lemon Aid. Uh, that's actually an eye primer, but it has a little bit of a yellow tint, which I'm thinking might be able to cancel out 
the blue blackness that's going on right now in the eyebrows. So let's see. And I'm actually just gonna bring that down onto my eyes because I need to prime my eyes anyways. I'm pretty sure I look crazy right now. This is kind of scary. Anyways, next up we're gonna be using the D Slick Mattifying Powder by Urban Decay, which is a cruelty-free brand, so that is dope. And just gonna be using the Too Faced Mr. Right brush to set those brows. Blocking the eyebrows is probably the most time-consuming and annoying part of this entire process, just so you know. Alrighty, so now I kind of feel like I want a little bit more glue, so I'm just going to add another layer to this mess. Now that that's done, we're going to repeat the step with the concealer and the powder. Actually, for now, I've decided to skip the powder and just go straight in with my foundation. I am using the Naked Skin Foundation by Urban Decay. Give that a good shake. Um, and this is a really light coverage foundation, actually, which is not ideal for this. If I had a more full coverage foundation, I would have used it, but I do not currently, so I'm just gonna use what I have. I would recommend using a foundation that's a little bit lighter and a little bit more cool toned than what you normally use. Um, if you have a darker skin tone, just do whatever you can with your foundation to look washed out and sickly because that's kind of the point of this joker is he looks diseased. <laughs> Okay, and once you have applied your foundation, just go in with your powder again. I'm using the Urban Decay Mattifying uh, D-Slick powder once more, just for my whole face, and you can go a little crazy with the powder for this, uh, not only to set it in place really well, but also just to, um, you, because like translucent powders have that slight whitish tint, and that will add to the sickly appearance of this look. I'm switching to a slightly bigger brush for the larger areas of my face. I don't know why, but I feel like the, the first time I did this look, I did a way better job of blocking out my eyebrows. I'm, I'm not very pleased with how the brows look. I'm gonna go do some behind the scenes magic and try to fix up this facial fur. Give me a sec. Okay, I have given up on the eyebrows. I'm done. <laughs> um, but anyways, let's move on to the next step of this tutorial, which is the eyeshadow. Um, for this, you just want to make it kind of messy, nothing too like special or crazy, but um, yeah, just keep it messy and tired looking. First up, I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Too Faced is a cruelty-free brand and I love them. I'm going, to, I'm going to be using the shade Pecan Praline, which is this one. Um, some people say Pecan, some people say Pecan, I say Pecan. And Pecan Praline is like this nice light brownie gray shade, so it's really good just as a base in the crease for this look. As I said, don't have to make it too pretty or be super, super careful with it. Just slap that in somewhere, dusting it a little bit under the eye as well. All right, now that I've got that in, you guys can already see my eye area is looking kind of gray and dark and smoldery. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in so that you can see better what I'm doing. Okay, hopefully this doesn't go out of focus. So yeah, those are the eyes so far. Just gray smoldery. That's it. Wait, I'm just gonna blend that one a little bit more. Next up, I'm using this beauty, the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. Um, and I'm gonna be going in with the bottom shade of the Time column. Did I say shade or shape? I meant shade. <laughs> uh, this is called Mirror, and it's kind of like a very, very slightly brown 
shimmery gray. I'm going to be using this contour brush from the Teddy Bear Hair Brush Set by Too Faced. And that shade is just going to go in the outer V of my eye. I'm just blending that slightly more towards the center, as you can see. And gonna put a little bit underneath as well. Oop, you can't see that. <laughs> now that that's done, I'm just gonna add a little bit of purple to the mix. I'm gonna be using the shade Delectable from the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, and I'm gonna grab that on a very teeny tiny brush. Not a super teeny tiny brush, but like something you would use for this area. So yeah, this brush, also from the Teddy Bear Hair set. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that purpliness on the lower lash line. Why, why do I keep moving out of the frame? <laughs> and now before I finish up with the eyeshadow, I just want to go back in with Pecan Praline because I feel like my inner corners are a little bit too bright. So I'm gonna add some more of Pecan Praline right in there. And kind of drag that slightly upwards towards the brows. or the non-brows. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the eyeshadow, but we're not done with the eyes. Wait a sec, still wanna blend that. Blendy, blendy, blend, blend, blend. Uh, we're not done with the eyes yet because we've got some eyeliner to do. So first I'm gonna be using uh, Sephora Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear. This is waterproof, just in the shade black. Again, Sephora is not a cruelty-free brand. And I'm going to be using that to tightline my upper lash line. This is super unpleasant. Wow, I just poked myself in the eye. It's twitching. Whew. <laughs> Okay, now after we have lined the upper waterline, we want to use some red or purple on the lower waterline. So, I'm having a tough time deciding between these two. These are both by MAC Cosmetics. Again, not a cruelty-free brand. I'm super disappointed in myself, just so you guys know. Uh, this one is Beet, and this one is Cherry, and I don't know. Cherry is a little bit too red. I don't know. I'm stuck. Um, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try Beet first, and then if I want it a little bit brighter, maybe I'll use Cherry instead. But yeah, just put that in your waterline, and that will give your eyes that tired and bloodshot look. This is like super out of focus. Did I mention these are lip liners? These are lip liners. I'm not sure if they're eye safe, but I'm pretty, pretty sure they are, they should be. I don't know, my eyes haven't fallen out yet, so. All right, so that is it. I think I am actually gonna use a little bit of cherry. As expected, I find this a little too dark, not quite bloody enough. Okay, now that is done, I think. Cool. All right, now that our eyes are done, we can zoom out, and here I am. Uh, you'll probably notice I did not use mascara, and that is because I feel like mascara would not give this look a manly appearance. Now that we're zoomed out, I can really see how shitty these eyebrows look. I'm just gonna ignore that, ignoring it. Before I move on to the lips, I think I'm gonna do the face tattoos, and this is probably the one of the trickiest parts of this look because you either need help from somebody else doing it for you or you have to like figure it out yourself how not to get it like 
looking like the other way around. So I actually have a reference picture over here of the last time that I did this look. Look how much nicer it was. My hair was so green. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna use that as a reference picture. So the J, he has um, a J on his left cheek and damaged across his forehead. And what I would recommend for this is to have two mirrors. So one which you're looking into because you're used to doing your makeup looking into your reflection and then in the other mirror you want to look at the reflection of your reflection because that will be the right way around and you can check that you're writing all the letters correctly okay so left cheek doing the j mr j i've got two mirrors right now and i'm trying to tilt them just the right way so i can see but i don't think it's working okay i'm just gonna use my reference picture and hope this doesn't fuck up That looks blotchy already. <laughs> All right, other than the blotchiness, our J is looking pretty good. All right, and up next we got to write damaged across my forehead. That is a lot more letters and a lot more possibility that I'm gonna mess it up. Alright, well clearly my camera is on its last leg because the front camera screen thing just went completely white and I can't see anything anymore. Uh, so I put a mirror behind the camera in which I'm watching what I'm doing. But anyways, let's just get into this and try to write damaged across my face without writing anything wrong. I probably should have done this before the eyes because this is where I'm most likely to fuck up. But let's let's just do this. Okay, we now have a D. How do we write the A? Oh no. Okay. I think I got it. Does that look like an A? I think I'm making these way too big. I'm actually gonna make the A with like a little loop thing going up that way. Like a computer A. M. A again. To me it just looks like the number six. <laughs> yeah, I think I started too far towards the middle. I needed a little more space. G, how does that go? E, I think I'm gonna have trouble with E now. Okay, the E should start next to the G, go up and finish away from the D G. I'm not liking this, <laughs> uh, mostly because I don't have space for my last D. Okay. Well, I have damaged on my forehead. It's not quite as centered as it should have been, but I think I wrote it the right way around. Let's check. Ooh, I got a text. Okay. How are we doing this? Let's Let's just... Mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. Oop, oop, two mirrors. Okay, it looks, it looks okay. As I said, not quite centered enough. Um, it's difficult to write with such, such a long word, and it's like, yeah, but I got it done. I got it done, <laughs> it looks okay. Uh, by the way, I was using the Hyper Sharp Liner by Maybelline, not a cruelty-free brand. This is sounding terrible to me. Okay, um, now the last thing we need to do, I think, are the lips. So let's do that. Um, I'm gonna be using the Beat Lip Liner by MAC Cosmetics.
I'm actually gonna apply this all over my entire lip just as a base for the lipstick. Don't get lip liner on your teeth. <laughs> My front screen is doing something weird again. Okay, and now over the lip liner, I'm gonna be using Diva Lipstick by MAC. Um, please feel free to use any kind of replacement for this. Um, yeah, none of the products I use in this video are like necessarily the only thing you can possibly use. Just find a dupe. Um, just go for like a dark kind of oxblood red sort of shade. And since the Joker is crazy and probably getting into a lot of trouble and making lots of mess, uh, I'm just gonna grab my finger and kind of just smudge this across my face. So just kind of like that. That's it. And then you can apply a little bit more to the middle where you lost some of the color. Yeah, he kind of looks like he's been making out with Harley Quinn, which is the point, I guess. <laughs> and the last thing I'm gonna do is just to set this all in place. This is pretty much the only animal tested product that I have actually bought since I said that I was gonna go cruelty free. Um, this is the only thing that I've bought with the exception of like shampoo and deodorant and stuff because those my mom buys and you just you can't really live without shampoo deodorant and body wash and there is nothing cruelty free that is available in China and we just we can't afford to like ship stuff from outside the country every time we need a new bottle of shower gel so uh, this is the only non necessary thing that I've bought that is not cruelty free ever since I said I was gonna go cruelty free and that is the Mac fix plus setting spray I just, I can't live without my setting spray. It's been way too long. I haven't worn makeup because I don't have setting spray. It's setting spray. So yeah, just gonna set my face with that. Um, use a ton of setting spray because this is just a lot of makeup and you need to hold that in place. While I'm letting that dry, just gonna give you guys a few little tips. If you want to contour this look, use grays rather than browns because you want it to look nice and cool toned. And again, if you want to use highlighter to make it a little bit more glamorous, again, use like a white highlighter as opposed to like a champagne or gold because, again, stay with the cool toned things. This just needs to be looking really like pale and sickly. Okay, my setting spray has dried off and this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Um, if you guys are going as the Joker, I hope this helped. If you did like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter for more. And if you want to support my channel, you can donate to my Patreon down below. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!